Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, we just want to thank you. We want to thank you and adore your name, oh Lord. It is such an honor and privilege to come. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. It's such an honor and privilege to come before you, to honor you, to worship you. We come today as a people to give you praise. We come, oh Lord God, to give you adoration for you are worthy. Father, we want to commit this hour to your hand, oh Lord. Our King, we ask that the Holy Spirit take charge because we know that you are here in our midst right now. And we declare and decree in the name of Jesus that today is a blessed day. Today is a day of salvation. Today is a day that you will touch the heart of your children that you have set aside for your blessing today. Father, Lord, we thank you for everybody will be lifted. Everyone that will listen to our broker will be lifted by the reason of anointing that is present in this hour right now, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We know that you are present here with us and that your presence will manifest in a big way, because we have come only in your name, in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare this hour open in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome to Powerhouse Hour. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Powerhouse Hour. It's always a delight to have you in our midst every Sunday. And before we start our broadcast today, we want to tell you a little bit about us, about who we are, and the reason why we do what we do. Hallelujah. So our vision statement says that we are not tied to citizens of heaven who are called to the kingdom of God to worship and adore our God in a non-religious, non-traditional, and unconventional manner to share the love of Christ and to win souls unto him. Hallelujah. And the Lord promised us that in obedience to his word, in obedience to his commission, the commission that he gave every believer, every children of God, that we should go to the outermost part of this world and tell about his love and share his good news. He promised to draw souls unto himself. So when we come out here, we are not coming in our own name. We are coming under the promise of God that says when we come in obedience to, with, to him, he will, he will draw souls unto himself. And in turn, he will give us gift without us even asking. That is the God that we serve. He is a compassionate God. He's a good God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We also stand on the word of God in John 15, 16, that says, we have not chosen, you have not chosen me. That means we did not choose him, but he, God, have chosen us. And he said, I have appointed and placed and purposefully planted you. And that is us at PHA, so that we may go and bear fruit and keep on bearing and that our fruit will remain and be lasting. So that whatever we ask him in the name of the Father as his representative, he will give unto us. That is the promise of God for us. He called us, he appointed us, he purposefully planted us to bear fruit. Hallelujah. And our mission is simple. It's just to win souls for the kingdom of God. Every nation touched, every act changed, and no one left behind. We create a Holy Spirit soaking room experience Sunday after Sunday, which is an act of evangelism to share the love of Christ and to win souls unto him. We also bridge the gap and fill the saint, bringing hope and restoration and joy to all. Everyone that come in contact with PHH broadcast, we see the joy of God in our midst because we do this work 
with joy in our hearts because we know who called us. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So the guiding principle that Powerhouse Hour stands on is we are a community of non-title ordinary citizens of heaven who continually worship God and speak of who he is. PHH is an interdenomination, international Christian fellowship designed to fulfill the following purposes. We are designed to introduce men and women across the globe to Jesus Christ by sharing his good news of salvation of the souls and to empower men and women through studying the scripture, Christian books and sharing amongst ourselves so that we may discover our true identity in Jesus, be filled with the love of Christ and the fullness of God and be equipped in our God-given gifts to fulfill our destiny and our life purposes. So on this note, we want to invite you for our empowerment hour that is taking place next week, Saturday, between the hours of 9.30 and 10.30. That is gonna be the first one, the very first one that will be broadcasted. We've been doing some among ourselves that is not open to the public, but this time around, this is gonna be the first one that will be open to the public. And we will be so delighted to have you join us next week, Saturday. We're going to place the invite on our website. It's gonna be on our website, um, www.phhword.com. It will also be on all of our social media, on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter. And the Lord bless you as you come to join us. Amen, amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And Father, we want to ask for forgiveness, Lord. Is there any way that we have sinned against you? Any way that we have not satisfied your heart desire? We ask that you show us mercy. Father, as we confess and repent before you of every evil or any wicked things that we may have done, Father, we ask that you wash us for the blood of Jesus, hallelujah. Father, we repent for being nonchalant for the things that contend against the principle of God. We repent for being nonchalant for the things that, that, are, that are dear to your heart. And we ask, O oh Lord, that you continue, O oh Lord God, to empower us, to equip us to do the work that you have called us to do. Glory be to your holy name, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So we never start our broadcast without worshiping our God, because that is the reason why we live, to worship and to adore him. Our title today is, We Will Wait on the Lord. I will wait on the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Isaiah 40, 31 says, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagle. They will run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We know that you are here with us. Glory be to your holy name. Amen. As we gather in your spirit, dwell within us. As we gather, may we glorify your name. Knowing where that as our heart begin to worship, we'll be blessed because we came. We be blessed because we came. As we gather, may your spirits dwell within us. As we gather, as we gather, may we glorify your name. Knowing where that as our heart begin to worship. We'll be blessed because we came. We'll be blessed because we came. The steadfastness.
hand of the Lord never ceases. This mess never come to an end. They are new every morning, new every morning. Great is your faithfulness, O oh Lord. Great is your faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness, O oh, oh Lord, great is thy faithfulness, who oh, is like unto thee, O oh, who is like unto thee, O oh, Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness and fearful in praising, always do in wonders? Hallelujah, always doing wonders. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Our God is doing wonders. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Who oh, is like unto thee? Oh, Lord. Who is like unto thee, our God, O oh, Lord, amongst the God, who is like thee, glorious in holiness and fearful in praising, doing wonders. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Our God is doing wonders. Hallelujah. There is none holy as our God. Our God, there is none beside thee, beside thee. Neither is there any rock as our God. There is none holy as the holy as the Lord. There is none holy as our holy as our God. There is none. Beside thee, beside thee, neither is there a any rock as our God. There is none holy as the Lord. Adonai, we worship you, we worship you. Son of God, Son of God, you are so, you are so good, Almighty God. Hallowed be thy name. Your dominion is forever, is forevermore. Adonai, Adonai, we worship you, we worship you. Son of God, Son of God, you are so good, you are so good, Almighty God. Hallowed be thy name. Your dominion is forevermore. 
Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Your dominion is forevermore. And we know that as we wait upon you, strength will rise as we wait. Strength will rise, oh Lord God, as we wait because our God, you reign forever. You reign forevermore. You are our hope. You are our strong tower. You are our strong deliverer. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You are the everlasting God, the everlasting God. There is no one like you. Strength will rise as we wait upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Adonai. We worship you, Son of God, you are so good, Almighty God, hallowed be your name, your domain is forevermore. Hallelujah. Lovely. Brethren, you are welcome. Once more, we continue with the hour, with the presence of the rock of ages, with the presence of the I am that I am, with the presence of the one himself. Hallelujah. He said we should go out there and we should proclaim the good news. We should tell of his goodness. We should tell of his loving kindness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is good to those who wait for him. He is near to the person who seeks him. I wait quietly before God, for my victory comes from him. He alone is my rock and my salvation my fortress where I will never be shaken. My soul waits for the Lord. He is my help and my shield. He is my strength, my help in times of trouble. When I run to him, I am saved. What a joy for those whose strength comes from the Lord. They go from strength to strength they will continue to grow stronger. Lead me in your truth and teach me. Show me the way to go and guide me through life eternal. Grant me the grace and patience to wait for your timing. Hallelujah. I will wait on the Lord. Is there any situation that you're going through? Is there any circumstance that is agitating your mind? Wait upon the Lord because victory comes from the Lord. Strength to see you through that situation, it comes from the Lord. The strength to carry you through, it comes from the almighty God. He alone gives strength. He is near to the person that seeks him. The Bible says, if you seek him, we will find him. Hallelujah. Wait for the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. As the dear hands for the waters, so my soul longs after you. You are Lord, are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. You alone, you are Lord. You are my strength, you are my shield. To you alone, may my spirit yield. 
You are Lord, are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. One of the benefits of salvation is this hunger, this thirst after righteousness. This hunger, this thirst, this longing for the presence of the Almighty God. This hunger, this yearn for his presence. And he comes and he fills your life. He fills your heart. He fills your mind. He fills your entire being with his presence. Hallelujah. He is near to those that seek him. Seek the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. The psalmist said in Lamentations 3.25, the Lord is good to those who wait for him, to the soul who seeks him. Verse 26 said, it is good that one should hope and wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you in need of salvation? Are you in need of anything that is bothering you, that is agitating your mind? It is good to wait on the Lord. When this, when, when this portion of the scripture was read, read, written in Lamentations, this person was going through a terrible situation. It was a sieve. There was no way out. And then they decided to go to the Lord, to wait, to look up to the Lord. Hallelujah. What does it mean to wait on the Lord? I will sing this second song and then we will have an understanding of what does it mean to wait on the Lord. They that trust in God shall be like Mount Zion, which can never be removed, but by death forever, as the wall is round about Israel. So the Lord is round about his people. For the Lord is round about his people. From hence for even forever. When you trust in the Lord, he will make sure that you are secured. He will make sure that you are safe. Hallelujah. He will surround you with his love. He will surround you with his goodness. He will surround you with his mercy. He will surround you with salvation. Are you on the broadcast this afternoon? And you want to accept the Lord Jesus as your Lord and Savior? He's right here. His arms are wide open to receive you. Hallelujah. Listen to what he says in the next song. I will never leave you, nor forsake you. I will never leave you, nor forsake you. You are the apple of my eyes, my very own, molded in my image. So why do you fear? Why do you fear? Oh, I am always there. I never sleep. 
pos la baru you i am always there to sustain you I will never leave you, nor forsake you. I will never leave you, I will never, nor forsake you. I will never leave you, nor forsake you. So I invite you to come to the Lord Jesus, to accept the Lord Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. Isaiah 30 verse 18 says, Therefore the Lord will wait that he may be gracious to you, and therefore he will be exalted that he may have mercy on you. For the Lord is a God of justice, Blessed are all those who wait for him. Isaiah 64 verse 4 says, For since the world began, no ear has heard, and no eye has seen a God like you, who walks for those who wait for him. Hallelujah. Are you on this broadcast this afternoon? And you want the Lord to surround you, just like he surrounds the Israelites. All you need to do is to say this after me. Lord Jesus, you said you will never leave me. You said you will never forsake me. You said I'm the apple of your eyes. You said I am created in your image and in your likeness. Almighty God, it is true. When I look at myself in the mirror, I am your image. I am your likeness. Almighty God, you do not sleep, you do not slumber. But I am human. I will sleep and I will slumber because I will get tired. Father, I need your love. I need you, Lord. I want to get close to you. I acknowledge that I am a sinner. I acknowledge that I do not have the power to deliver myself. I need you. I need salvation. And you alone can give salvation. I open my heart unto you. I receive you as my Lord and my Savior. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Have you said this? Have you said this this afternoon? Have you made this declaration? Yes, he's right there. In that situation, in that circumstance. He's going to take over. He's going to fight for you. He's going to be your greatest ally. He said, I will never sleep or slumber over you. He said, do not fear. Hallelujah. That means that you would come across situations that will make you afraid. But is there with you in that situation? And he will see you through in that situation. And you will glorify the Almighty God. Hallelujah. I have been through similar situations as well. And he has been my rock. He has been my fortress. And that's why I am this, on this broadcast to invite you to accept the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm happy that you have taken this step. The, later on, there's going to be another altar call and you would hear more about the next step that you will take in this journey. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we worship you. Lion of the tribe of Judah, you are worthy to be praised. Ancient of days, <laughs> the I am that I am. 
our solid foundation. Oh, the one that never fails. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, my Messiah, my Savior, my lover. Oh, I give you glory. I am created in your image. I am created in your likeness. You, before you formed me, you have ordained me to do good works for you. Lord, I, I am grateful unto you. Lord Almighty, there is nobody that can replace you. Ah. <laughs> oh, no one will take your place in my life. You are my solid foundation. Oh, you are my strong tower. You are my refuge. You are the fourth man in every situation of life that I go through. You help me to navigate the waters of life. Oh, I worship you. King of kings and Lord of lords. The God of Abraham. The God of Isaac. The God of Jacob. The God of Olan Rewaju Owoshene Lawa. I come to adore and reverence you. I come to appreciate your goodness and your faithfulness. Great are you, King of glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I will wait on you. Almighty God, in the beauty of your holiness, I will worship you. Almighty God, in the beauty of your holiness. Lord, I thirst for you, and I long to be your presence. My soul will wait on you, Father, Father, draw me never. Draw me never to the beauty of your holiness. I will wait, I will wait on you. Almighty God, in the beauty of your holiness, I will worship you, Almighty God, in the beauty, in the beauty of your holiness. My soul thanks for you, the God of my salvation. You have been my help and support. You are the wind that has upheld my wings. You have been my sustainer and my shield. You are the lifter of my head, my alpha and beginning, my omega and end. You have been my all in all, ever present, ever sure. Who can compare to you? Who can I, your body, compare? to you a faithful god without injustice a faithful god without prejudice a faithful god without partiality a faithful god without favoritism you have been my strength my potent and effective one the power behind me you reign and rule in the affairs of my life you do not need man to be God in my life. You do not need man to be the God and King of my life. When men are saying there's a casting down, you Lord, lift me above the drowning waters. You are my sufficiency, my provision, the giver of my life, the giver of joy. Whom do I have on earth but you? You have been more than enough for me. You paved way where there were no ways. 
You create water to drench my dry land. You encourage me with your words when I am in doubt. You even send me help when I've not asked for it, nor dreamt about it. You are the Lord of the universe, my God. The works of your hands are too numerous to count, O Lord. Precious Lamb of God, why you love me so, I shall never know. But I am grateful that you love me anyway. Thank you for your unconditional, unending love. For all the days of my life, I will wait upon you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, thank you, my Father. Yes, Lord, the lifter up of my head, my helper, my rock, my fortress. You are my deliverer. You are my God. You are my strength in whom I trust. My shield, the horn of my salvation. Hallelujah. My stronghold, my strong tower, my canopy, my banner. Oh, you are the shaman of blessings that has no end. Hallelujah. You are my solid foundation. The one that took me and put me to become like him, the one that created me in his own image and breathed the breath of life into my nose Lord, I worship you. The one that crowned my head, oh Lord God, with many blessings. The one that draws out of many waters and give me the shining of blessings from every area of my life. The one that delivers me from my strong enemy the support of my life, my life wire, my life support, the one that brought me to a broad place. Oh, my battle as my delight, my reward, my recompense, the merciful God, the most high God, the pure God, the perfect God, the omnipotent one, the one who enlarges my path, the one who enlarges my coast, the lamp of my path and the light of my way. You are Emmanuel, the God that is with me. You are faithful and true. You are the father of mercy. You are the flame of fire, the fountain of the living waters. Friends, be closer than a brother or a sister. The glorious Lord, the God of all comfort, the God of all grace, the God of hope, the God of my peace, the God of my life, the God of truth, the God of all, the judge of all, the righteous one, the governor general of the whole universe, the God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob, the God of power out hour, and God of adage, okay? Glory be to your holy name. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord Jesus, we bless you. We thank you, we give you praise, honor, glory, power. Oh, how can we describe you? Hallelujah, you are my upper room. You are the bridal price that was paid for me. You are the male sacrifice with no defects. You are my special gift pleasing aroma to the Father. You are the cloud by day and the fire by night. You are the architect of my life. You are the prison door opener. You set the captives free, hallelujah. You cure incurable diseases, hallelujah. You're the one who blesses me and no one can curse me. You are wonderful, you are counselor, you are almighty God. You are everlasting Father. You are Prince of Peace for all eternity. And we worship you and we thank you for being our Savior and our Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 
all honor, all glory, all power to you. Jesus, we wait on you. Hallelujah. Friends, welcome again to this broadcast. And as you've heard so far, today we are speaking of waiting on the Lord, waiting on our God, waiting for him. Hallelujah. To show us the way in which we must go. Hallelujah. And you know, I, it takes me to this passage that you probably have heard of. It's in Acts 1, 4. And it says, And being assembled together with them, he commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father. This is the NKGV version. And the New Living Translation version says, Once when he was eating with them, he commanded them, Do not leave Jerusalem until the Father sends you the gift he promised, as I told you before. Hallelujah. Friends, we are called to wait for the promise before doing anything. In the case of the disciple here, before they can go and preach the good news, they had to wait. Before they can lay hands on the sick, open the eyes of the blind, they had to wait. Before they can speak to the deaf and open their ears, they had to wait. Before they can resurrect the dead from the grave, they had to wait. Hallelujah. Yes, friends, the faith in Jesus comes with an element of waiting because in him we don't do anything by our strength, our intellect, our intelligence, but all is done by the help of the helper who is the Holy Spirit. Amen. I pray that today you will make room for this Jesus in your life. Hallelujah. And learn to wait on Holy Spirit to show you where to go, what to do, what to say, how to react, how to answer people, even your enemies. He will give you strategy on how to circumvent 
their plans against you. Hallelujah. And friends, you know that today in our society, waiting is not a good thing. Waiting, no one wants to wait for anything today. Even when we put our food in the microwave, supposed to take two minutes. By one minute, 50 seconds, we take the food out. We cannot wait. We feel like we just earned 10 more seconds. For what? We don't like to wait. In traffic, we will find the shortest way. We will find a second secondary road so that we can go faster. It's all about running, running, running. But this God that we serve, he's asking us to wait, wait, wait. Wait on me. With me, you can do much more than you can do on your own. Wait on my wisdom. Wait on my strategy. Wait on my intelligence. Wait on my, my tools. Wait on me. I can show you how to get wherever you want to go faster. Hallelujah. I can do it because I know the end from the beginning. Hallelujah. Nothing happens in this world without the knowledge and the express approval of God. Hallelujah. And so when you put your trust in him, you will get to your destination in the appropriate time. Hallelujah. Somebody said this life is not, is not a marathon. Hallelujah. But it is an individual race. You are on, in your lane, I am in my lane. Hallelujah. But with the help of Holy Spirit, everybody will get where they need to be in the appointed time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Friends, this is the good news that as you wait on the Lord, you will get exactly where you need to be in the name of Jesus. You don't have to compete. You don't have to do anything. Hallelujah. But keep your eyes on him and he will lead the way in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, friends, waiting on God is essential in the kingdom. Hallelujah. It is evidence that we trust him. It is evidence that we place our faith in him as we wait on him. Hallelujah. Friends, I have a question for you today. What are you waiting for in your life? What are your expectations what are your desires, your dreams? Maybe you are looking for a new job. Maybe you are waiting for your promotion, waiting for a spouse, waiting for children. What are you waiting for today? Hallelujah. Everyone is waiting for something. Hallelujah. We, we all have a, a yearn a hunger in our heart today, and only God can feel it. Hallelujah. And friends, I am a doer. I am a person of action, and I'm always looking for practical ways to apply what's in the Bible. Amen. And waiting on the Lord, friends, it's not a passive word. It's not a passive verb but it's very active. It means that you have to be doing something as you are waiting for God to intervene, to show up in your situation. We can look at Abraham in the Old Testament. One day God appeared to him and told him, get up, leave your father's house and go to a place that I will show you. He didn't give Abraham an address. He didn't give him GPS coordinates. He has no clue where he was going, but as he took one step before the other. Surely 
God led him to exactly where he needs to go. This is an example of waiting on the Lord. Hallelujah. And so friends, maybe in your case, you are waiting to have children. Hallelujah. What are you doing right now? Are you helping your brothers and sisters take care of the children? Take care of your nieces, your nephews? Do you volunteer your time to help in children's church? Do you babysit your friends' kids from time to time? You're looking maybe for a promotion. Have you acquired new skills in the past year? Are you planning to? Hallelujah. Have you added new credentials to your, to your work, to your profession? Have you done anything that will separate you from the crowd when that time comes? Hallelujah. Friends, our waiting is just, it's not just waiting for God to move, but as we're moving, he's moving with us. Hallelujah. And friends, this is the Jesus that we are bringing to you today. Hallelujah. That as you make room for him, he will transform your life. As you trust in him with one step, he will lead you to the next step and the next step. Hallelujah. He loves you 2,000 years ago. He came into this world a mere man. Hallelujah. And carried my burden and your burden upon himself. Went to the cross and died a gruesome death. Why? because he loves you and he loves me. Hallelujah. And he wants us, hallelujah, to partake in his kingdom eternal. He doesn't want us to be separate from him, but wherever he is, that we too may be forevermore. And so friends, this is our call for you today. Are you ready to make room for this Jesus? Then please, Pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you. I thank you for speaking to my heart today. And I've heard, hallelujah, that I can put my trust in you, that I can wait on you, and you will lead me where I need to go. Just like you did for Abraham, you will do for me. And so my answer is yes. Today, I open my heart to you. Come and be my personal Lord and Savior. And Holy Spirit, I invite you also to come into my life, hallelujah, and to empower me to take new heights, new challenges, and step into my God-given destiny. I am not satisfied with where I am today, but I want to move to the next level, just like you took these disciples to the next level in the ministry. Hallelujah. Come into my life. Empower me to be the best worker on my job. Empower me to be the best student in my school. Empower me to be the best mother to my children. Empower me to be the best spouse to my spouse. Empower me, hallelujah, to step into my true and complete identity in Jesus mighty name. Amen. And friends, if you pray this prayer, welcome to the family of God. The angels are rejoicing. We are powerhouse hour. We are rejoicing because you just made the single most important decision of your life that will carry you into eternity. Hallelujah. Please let us know that you have chosen Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Please, you'll find all the details of our various social media in the description box 
below this video and please do not keep this good news for yourself. Share with your family, friends, your neighbors that they too may hear of this good news and give their lives to Jesus. Thank you again. And remember this week that as you are waiting on Jesus, he will surely show up and show you what to go, where to go, what to do, what to speak. Hallelujah. You don't have to live this life in your strength, but allow his strength to cover you in all circumstances of your life. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. May strength arise as we wait upon the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, our hope, our strong deliverer, our everlasting Jehovah, as we wait upon you, Lord Almighty God, let strength, let it arise within us, from within us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. My helper, oh, my helper, you are my helper, oh, my helper. There is something that makes me come into your presence, my helper. Hallelujah. As we have come into the presence of God in patience, in perseverance, waiting unto upon him for whatever it is that we are waiting on. May he meet us at the point of every hour of our needs in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus and Savior. Amen. Amen. I truly, truly hope that we will take the courage to wait on the Lord because it's not always easy. It's not an easy thing to wait, but when we have confidence in him, when we trust him, for who he is and what we know that he is capable of doing, you know, that will make it a lot easier for us to be able to wait upon you knowing he's always there, never sleeping, never slumbering. Hallelujah. We want to thank you this afternoon, this hour for joining this, for joining us um, to stand in the gap for Christ. We truly, truly hope that you feel the tangible presence of the Lord amongst us this afternoon. I do, I did. And sometimes I'm thinking that I need to just be here to soak in myself because today I truly, truly soaked in the presence of God. Hallelujah. We want to ask you to join us again, again every Sunday between the hour of hours of 3 and 4 p.m. Eastern time. And if you are blessed with this hour, Please don't keep it to yourself. Help us to subscribe to our channels, share our broadcasts to reach the end of the world. Every nation touch, every earth change, and none left behind in Jesus' name. Please remember, we love you at PHH, but always, always remember and never forget that Christ that we have introduced to you this afternoon, he loves you more than you ever know more than you love yourself and that's because he laid down his own life to die so that you can have life and have it more abundantly hallelujah as we come into your presence past the gates of grace into our sanctuary Till we stand the face to face, we look upon your countenance and we see the glory of your face. We can only bow down and say, and say, you've been awesome in this place. Almighty God, you've been awesome in this place, Abba Father, 
You are worthy of our praise. To you our lives we raise. You've been awesome in this place. Almighty God, you've been awesome. You've been awesome in this place, Almighty God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You've been awesome in this place, Abba Father. You are worthy of our praise. To you, our lives we wait. You've been awesome in this place, Almighty God. You've been awesome. You've been awesome in this place, Almighty God. Oh, you've been awesome. You've been awesome in this place, Abba Father. You are worthy of our praise, and to you our lives we wait. Father, you've been awesome in our midst, Almighty God. You have been awesome in our lives. Almighty oh, God, Father, be awesome in our lives. Almighty oh, God, be awesome in all our lives. Almighty oh, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, sisters and brothers. Please join us next week. Um, just to remind us also, we're having our first empowerment hour. My sister said it earlier. I, I just want to reiterate that we are having our first empowerment hour next Saturday from 9.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. And that is when we... We come under the spirit or under the under the feet of the Holy Spirit to learn. We're doing this in house, but we're just bringing it to everyone so that you too can be blessed. Because we have been really, really blessed, and we can see changes in our lives, in our serving, in who we are as children of God. So we look forward to see you next week. You can join us on Zoom or you can join us online, whichever way is okay for you but we look forward to seeing you have a wonderful week i heard the lord go speak for you this week may he pave way for you and may he take away every evil that is destined for this week in jesus mighty name amen have a glorious glorious and wonderful week in his presence in jesus name bye everyone but we love you bye